still not got an intro. Does everyone know what day it is? Do you know what day it is? It's the worst day of the year. Yes, you guessed it. It is Derby Day. A day in which I've not seen my team win since I want to say 2010 when Arteta and Kale scored for 2-0. I can remember two Everton victories in derbies in my entire life. Oh no, Dan Goslin as well, so three. I'm trying everything I can today, so I've worn an Everton top for every single derby that I can remember, basically. Um, I'm not going to wear that today. I'm not going to wear anything at Everton. I've even put red short on. We're in lockdown. It's the first time that's happened, so maybe if we change everything up, we can win. Yeah, you're here for the video. So, what did we do? We've got another gameplay video, and now, you know what? We was lacking a few 30 and O's on the channel. So this is a bit of a different one. It's not a club. We've gone for a lead because I did it like the week that MLS came out or the week later. I did it on stream. Everyone helped me build the team and we got cracky. It was just a spur of the moment thing, really. But yeah, I'm basically just distracting myself for the derby. So I've decided to record this on Sunday morning. I'm going to get it out for you on Sunday today, hopefully. I know what the comments are going to be full of when we get the final result, which is inevitably a Liverpool win. Anyway, what team? What players made it to the MLS 11? They could have played in the American League at any point in the career. That was the criteria that we set on stream. Like, we know the MLS started, I think, like, 1996 or something. So, like, Pele, who you can see on your screen now, obviously didn't play in 1998. But he went to, I think it was New York Cosmos or something. So, us on Twitch, who build the teams, allowed him to come on. And I'm pretty sure everyone else has featured in the MLS. Kaka actually lost his first team place for Martinez in, like, game four. You would have already seen the top 100 United team highlights before this video. Video. That was two days ago if you want to watch that, but this was actually the first time that we used Nanny. This was the day he became a legend. Don't forget all 30 of these games were played on stream. That centre-back partnership is the best centre-back partnership I've ever used, I think. And I'm talking like any FIFA. Because the key is about this FIFA, we don't want to be drop back bums. We want to press people high. And a back four with this pace allows you to do that. Alfonso Davis, 99. That Robinson, coin for coin, best centre-back on the game, easily. The keeper was dodgy, but we had to live with it. And the other full-back was very good as well. So, as you're going to see now, this is the first video in ages that we've not had like a live bit of me playing it. Because yeah, our streams get very, very non-PG and YouTube would unmonetize me almost instantly. Get in the streams if you want to see the... Because this was this was the best stream ever. It was crazy. This game you're seeing now, I had a black kit against a black kit. And I did not switch it. I checked my gameplay. So I have no idea what was going on here. But... It gave me an idea. So what do you reckon? I'm not going to do it in foot champs because that would make me go absolutely south for the winter. But if I did a foot draft using just the minimap, I think I could do it. Because that's what I basically did that game and I won it. And a foot draft, if you give it enough attempts, I reckon I could do it. So, you know, let me know if you want to see that. Could be a special little upload on the channel. A taster for what's to come next year and on the second channel. There's so much content that we could do. Speaking of the second channel, the other ones we've not uploaded, the Rome past and present and the PSG past and present will be uploaded onto the second channel and they'll be clipped like straight from the stream because we're not bothered about being unmonetized on that channel because we've not even monetized anything on that channel yet. So yeah, you'll probably get all the effing and jeffing on that. But you see here, what how sporting was that, right? So basically he was like standing still when I opened it and like I realized it a bit. So I thought, you, you know what? I don't want to go ahead like that. I'll turn around and score it on goal it's like i said all we're trying to do is make the community a better place is that that that's all that's all i want to do yeah like i said unfortunately you're not going to get the crazy live reactions that did take place live but if you want to watch it then just watch the stream i'll be streaming tonight Sunday after the derby. Remember, hashtag Harry streaming after the derby. So get in there, twitch.tv, full slash hashtag Harry. I think we're going to use past and present into Milan. And also, we've not had a chance to chat in ages. So I got some questions in again from Instagram. I'm going to answer some of, some of them in a sec. But yeah, just enjoy the gameplay behind. This is actually such a dramatic weekend. I remember we was flying all, all about the place. I think we've ruined stuff over there. We've broken some over there. All in this one stream. It was crazy. First question, what have we got here? We've gone for Instagram. So it should be a bit more child friendly. Because Twitter are the ones that bombard with the over-18 stuff. Score predictions for the Merseyside derby. To be honest, mate, it's weird, isn't it? Because I think there's a start, something like... The home teams haven't just lost their home advantage. The away team has gained an advantage. And then I think the mentality of losing your advantage then gives you the disadvantage. And the away team end up with the advantage. Because I'm pretty sure it was like... There was 19 games played yesterday and the day before in Premier League and Championship. For the home team, it was win three drawn seven and lost nine like that is crazy mix that in with everton's derby record of never beating them anyway with the home advantage and gonna go 2-1 everton do you remember your first ever official fifa tournament only ogs 
remember this right. So as an amateur in the Spanish League Game Academy, I didn't even know competitive FIFA was like really a thing. I, d I didn't do any like meta stuff or anything, but I think I won episode two. Why does my voice keep going at the Spencer FC Game Academy? And then I got put straight into a pro tournament, like the only pro actual proper tournament that was a thing then. So I got shoved into it as an amateur who was like quite like bad at the time because you don't know what to learn and like how to win. I got in with like Kurt, Dragon, Gorilla, Agarose and Maya, Dr. Ahano, and I, I lost my two group games and went out. And since then, now, as we stand, I am better than every single one of them. So yeah, it's been a crazy journey. And like, I'm saying that as in not like throwing shade at them, like as in the official world rankings, I'm better than all of them. Did you vote Kent? Right. Yes, I did vote Ryan Kent. And like, there's so many people who want to create a, an agenda at EA for nothing. This is such a minimal thing. But I've seen it on like Instagram, on Twitter saying they've rigged it. Why, why would they rig it? For one. Two, the Twitter and Instagram people cater for not even 50% of the base, not even 40, 30, 20 probably. And think, every single Ultimate Team player gets a vote. So you log in, right, on my Xbox. I just went on Ultimate Team. I was in a rush and I'm pretty sure it's already on Jovic in the middle. So like, because most votes, I just literally skip it, just click down the middle one and click OK. So that's what a lot of casuals would have done as well. And he's the highest rated player and plays for Real Madrid. Like the biggest club in the world. What's one thing you'd change about FIFA for FIFA? One thing! One! Jesus! To not get given the loss when you're DC when you're winning. Just how is that a thing in the third decade of the 21st century? I started my Xbox games on Friday and I got a DC in like game five. I was 6 nil up and unbeaten and it gave me the loss and I was just like, you know what, sod it. So there won't be an Xbox upload, but we've got any loads stacked up anyway. And then it, it's, it's allowed to give me a break before this stream. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you now on Sunday, it's gonna go up. If you don't get that reference then, yeah. When's the last time you, um, it was like, it was like a week before lockdown in a Canadian hotel. I mean, we're up. We're all being honest around here, aren't we, so? Next! What games are you playing now because FIFA is dead? Uh, I play no other games. And unless streaming, because I'm going to stream a lot next year, probably I'll probably try other games on stream. But FIFA is my gaming time. Like, you don't understand it. It's my job. Would you keep doing your job outside of job hours? Like, for work, if I'm sat here, whether it's making content or playing to get better, like, I'm sat in this chair doing it. So then when I switch off, I don't want to be in this room. I don't want to see a screen. I need to get out to the real world. So that's probably why I go out, like, four or five times a week. That's, like, my game into you lot. Do you think EA need to get rid of custom tactics in FIFA 21? Definitely don't get rid of custom tactics because then it could definitely become a mess but and you need to let people try and play a certain way. You need to let people if they want to keep the ball you need to like cater to Tika Taka. If people want to launch it you need to let them do that but the main issue is the drop back and how this game is set up. I don't know what they did with it but they messed it up so much and you know the sad thing is because they made it this boring game that sends you to sleep. They don't get the credit for the other things. Like, the goalkeeper movement and the timed finishing, they absolutely smashed. But it's irrelevant because of the sort of game they made. Like, I could put my depth on six depth. I could start pressing you, sprinting at you. But my team still retreats. So there's something really wrong with the game. They need to fix that. And they need to think, like, just make the game more entertaining. That's all they need to think and, Im and implement, in my opinion. What FIFA have you been most successful in competition-wise? Oh, please, please don't make me cry. So this is the first time I'm addressing it on video or on anything, actually, because a lot of the other pro players were putting, like, tweets, Instagram stories out. But me, to be honest, oh, I'm so done with it. I can't tell you how much. Since FIFA 17, I came in as this amateur, one of the first pros that, you know, like, had... I'm not going to go off on all the other players, but someone who came in from, like, a uni lifestyle. Go on, Pele. Go on, Pele. <laughs> Ever since I came in at that amateur level, which weren't very high, I've got better and better and better each year until now. So FIFA 20 to answer your question is my best competitive year. At my last five major tournaments, I've literally got like top four, top eight, top four, top eight. I think I'm the only person to like get top eight in every single FIFA at a major since competitive FIFA began, which was FIFA 17. Just the sorry, there'll be someone else as well. But my point is like to be that consistent is ridiculous. And I finally got to a point where in my opinion, I was definitely going to win something this year. Like the amount I'd put into it as well. Like this is the first year where because I was in Canada, 
I weren't going out as much as much. I, I mean, in December when at all time. But apart from that, I was keeping myself in. I was like watching stuff back, getting better. So usually, when I'd be making videos, my videos like they don't really help me get better at FIFA because it's more of an entertainment value. So like I'm not playing how you like play against the top pros in the world. But I put content aside this year. I went for it at pro level. I was, I was like, I'm gonna win summer, and I got to that level where. I was probably gonna win summer. And then the season got cancelled. So yeah, everyone, if you don't know, if you're just watching this, our competitive season has been cancelled. We get compensated, like I get something like 14 grand or something. But like I was eighth in the world. I had qualified for the next major foot, foot Champs Cup five. There was Foot Champs Cup six. There was a Champions League. There was E Nations. There was, there was a playoffs. I had qualified for the World Cup, basically. I would have earned so much more than that. And in my opinion, I would have backed myself to win something this year. It is a stupid thing to like measure proper FIFA ability though, saying like not winning a pro tournament because Tex and Dossari have literally just shared them for like three years. But yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think I'll ever put as much work in as I did this year to a FIFA competitive season because to put all that work in and find and like be at a top three to five level easily and think that I'm going to win summer, for it all to just be ended. Like the fact I could have been doing content every single week and I'm not going to stop content now. So yeah, my competitive level, I'll have to take a back burner for the foreseeable future. Are y'all ever going to bring back Pro Players United? Oi, if people don't know what that is. What I did, I assembled Pro Players and we played 11-man Pro Clubs. If you want to see that, let me know. We all know, like, the most enjoyable mode on FIFA. Guess who we had? We had me. Hashtag Ryan as he was on the wing. We had Shells. We had Kurt in centre mid. If you want me to get a band back together, let me know. Are you doing a Road to Glory on FIFA 21? Yes, mate. I'm doing it on my second channel, which will be warming up with maybe even football content, Prem content, until the next FIFA comes out. That will be in the top line of the description below, so give that a follow. Get us to 25k. Predict top form relegation for the Premier League. Well, I mean, tomorrow or the day after, I'm doing a prediction video on the second channel, so we'll leave that for that. What was your first ever foot champs finish? This is what I mean. There's just no OGs these days. What do you mean? The first ever foot champs. The first one that existed on FIFA 17. That first weekend. Who do you think got first in the world? The best foot champs player to ever play the game. Who else? Oh, the thing that I said about DC is before. Do you know how funny that weekend was? So I was the only person in the world to get 40 and 0 that first weekend on Xbox. But well, you know what it did? One game when I was ahead and I messaged the lad after the game. I was 2-0 up. He paused it and quit it, like the normal way of the menu, and FIFA just randomly gave me a loss. <laughs> but I still got first. What will you do when FIFA Esports dies off and you have to get another job? Mate, when FIFA Esports died off, I will be in every single industry that you can think of. Like, you don't understand, our content creation journey has not begun. When next FIFA comes out, we're going to take over the FIFA scene for two years. Then we're going to take over the vlogging scene. Then we're getting an OnlyFans, and you will buy my bathwater. So don't worry about that. How many times have you, have you been shot at? Only once that I can remember, and that was in Cancun, obviously. Did you expect to continue with Pro FIFA career after the Game Academy? No, so I was so annoyed when I won the Game Academy because I basically thought I was just doing this fun thing, getting free trips to London, free hotels. I go out in London with my mates who were at uni there, and I thought, if I win it, great. It got advertised as, like, two grand in prizes. Well, I didn't know. That was an Xbox and loads of games. I thought I was going to get two grand in cash, go back up to Liverpool at uni and be like, ha ha, look at me. So, yeah, when he shoved this contract in front of me to be a Pro FIFA player, I was like, what? What on earth are you doing, you lads? But yeah, then I gave it a go, and look where we are now. The referee has indicated that Why do you and Tex not take FIFA seriously? Because, like, what you don't understand is when we get invited to these, like, tournaments that aren't, like, proper EA events, it's not really our priority. So, I don't know if you already seen it, but there's this thing called Twitch Rivals, like an 80k tournament, and every single player, rightfully so, in their mind, was, like, stream off, camera off, mic off, and just gameplay-wise, because you had to stream it. Me, us, us in the chat, our army was, was like, nah, nah, get rid of that. We're playing a world champion. We're playing the major champion this year. But you know what we'll do? We'll turn that on. We'll get some Disney songs on. And we'll have a sing-along and get some Stella down as well as playing. So, yeah, I can't speak for text. But me personally, I would just rather entertain, to be honest. Got any more questions? Super Sunday later. No, like I said, everyone, after the derby, 
Get in my stream, twitch.tv forward slash hashtag Harry Two Wise. We're going for the three peat. We had this team that you just seen us get 30 0 with. What a team it was. What a performance. We had Real Madrid last week. This week, we could make it 90 and 0. Three streams in a row. So, yeah, you don't want to miss it because I'm telling you, it seems it goes off every week. And because we play copyright music, I don't have a past broadcast. So, the only way you see it is actually probably watching it live or if it gets clipped on the second channel. But we're going to get 30 and 0, so it's going to be on the main. Like I said, this team, I didn't speak about it much, but absolute legends. I'm telling you all, if you can get Opara and Robinson, it's the best centre back partnership I've used ever on a FIFA. You could even put an icon in net or something. Like, you don't even need Hamid. Pozuelo, shout out because obviously you need the five star weak foot centre attacking mid like I tell you we're going to have the Summer Heat Perisic a centre attacking mid later for the Inter Milan team so yeah come and join us later I hope you've enjoyed this video we've got the Real Madrid one coming out on Tuesday we've got the rewards after that on Thursday I don't know rewards might die off a bit I might just sack it off if it's not like good but I actually know what the rewards are the second channel is going to be flying again the past and present Rome PSG and the Premier League predictions so give that a sub and please I know, I know it's behind closed doors but Everton you've got to win a derby leave a like if you've enjoyed this video subscribe for more and until next time